In this video, I'm going to show you the fastest possible way you can get true financial freedom by living off dividends. I'm going to share with you three ways that you can do that. And just know that as this video progresses, the ideas I'll share with you will put your goal of living off dividends closer and closer to reality. And the reason I say that is because in my opinion, each idea I present to you is better than the previous one. But all these strategies are ones that you should at least consider. So what is the fastest possible way you can retire using dividend stocks and how much would you need to retire? Here you see my real life portfolio of stocks that I own right now. Now I won't go into great detail, but I actually got all these stocks for free. If I see how I did it, I'll tell you about it at the end of this video. But this portfolio contains 94 stocks. If you've been searching around on the internet for the fastest way to retire, most likely you've run across the term dividend growth investing. And it's a great term and idea. The problem is that in real life, if you invest in a dividend growth company that starts out paying one, two, or even 3%, it could take you a long time to get enough dividend income to live off of. Now, please don't misunderstand me. I own some dividend growth stocks. And here you see my list of 94 stocks sorted by the lowest dividend first. Notice that it includes companies that you're very familiar with, companies like MasterCard, Apple, and even the ETF QQQ. However, notice that their dividends are very low. For example, Apple is only paying a 0.61% dividend. So if you're trying to accumulate an Apple stock portfolio that paid you $50,000 a year in dividends, you would actually need 54,348 shares of Apple. That would cost you $8.2 million. Forget about it. It's not even worth discussing that alternative. So let's go to the other half of my portfolio. Let me show you my highest dividend paying stocks. Now I've sorted this 94 stock portfolio by the highest dividend paying stocks up top. Here you see that the highest dividend paying stock I own right now is MPW. MPW is a real estate company that owns hospitals. Now let's do some math. So if you wanted to make $50,000 a year off dividends by owning medical property trust, you would get an annual dividend of $1.16 per share. In order to pocket $50,000, we need 43,103 shares. Multiply that times the $12.77 per share that medical properties is currently trading for, and you need a whole lot less than that $8 million you needed back with Apple. You would only need $550,000. But I don't think it's very smart to have all your money in one company. So why don't we diversify a little bit here? Let's take my top 10 highest dividend paying companies and use the same ratios that I'm currently invested in in this portfolio. Now, this is by no means a suggested portfolio. As you saw, I own a portfolio of 94 stocks that I handpick on a weekly and monthly basis to add to my positions. However, let's just take our top 10 highest yielding dividend stocks that we own right now and see how much we would need in order to receive that $50,000 a year in dividends. This portfolio is not equally weighted. It's based on the ratios of what I currently own. But as you can see at the bottom right corner in the blue box, we've adjusted this portfolio so we have $50,000 a year in annual dividend income. As you see, the average dividend yield across these 10 stocks is currently 7.69%. To pocket $50,000 per year in dividends, notice that we would need to have $650,000. Now keep in mind that this portfolio, that most or all these companies have a history of growing their dividends. And theoretically, over time, the value of these stocks should go up. Since you've worked so hard to accumulate the $650,000, you want to invest in companies that not only over time grow the value of your portfolio, but also pay you more and more dividends every year. And that's what we've attempted to structure here. But $650,000 is still a lot of money. Is there a better way? The answer is yes. Here's another way. If you weren't as concerned about portfolio and dividend growth, but mainly wanted to focus on that $50,000 a year income, Here's another way you could retire faster and for less money off just dividends. These three ETFs are known as covered call ETFs. That means that they not only own, but they also sell covered call options against their portfolio of stocks. QYLD owns the NASDAQ 100 stocks and sells call options against that portfolio. RYLD owns the Russell 2000 stocks and sells covered call options against them and XYLD owns the S&P 500 and sells covered calls against that portfolio. The reason why I picked these three ETFs is because they pay a very high dividend. The current dividend rate of these three ETFs range from a low of 13.36% to a high of 15.36%. The average dividend yield for these three ETFs is 14.04%. Because of this very high dividend yield, as you can see here, to achieve that $50,000 a year in dividend income, you only need to own $356,446 worth of these stocks. Now that's probably starting to sound a lot more realistic to you, isn't it? 
There are three things though that I don't like about these ETFs. First, as with any ETF, you want to check out their expense ratio. This is real money that will come out of your position every year. So although you may have a very high dividend ETF, notice in the red box that these three ETFs expense ratio ranges from 0.6% to 0.7%. So you're giving up a piece of that return to the ETF managers. If you're okay with that, then don't worry about it. But I just want to make sure that you're aware that these high dividend ETFs can have higher expense ratios. When you compare their expense ratio with SCHD, notice that its expense ratio is one-tenth what those high dividend ETFs expense ratios are. Also, as you can see here, when we look at QYLD versus QQQ, although you get a much higher dividend yield with QYLD, you pretty much give up portfolio value growth altogether. Another problem, and the biggest one I have with just investing in these three high yield covered call ETFs, especially in the context of this video, is that when it comes to retiring fast on dividends, with these ETFs, you pretty much give up all potential dividend growth as well. As we all know, inflation is very real. We want our dividends to be growing so we get pay raises every year as inflation eats away the value of our portfolio. For example, looking here at my Seeking Alpha page for QILD, which by the way, Seeking Alpha is a great tool for investing and they've agreed to give my viewers and patrons an awesome discount. So if you'd like to check out Seeking Alpha and take advantage of that discount, my affiliate link is in the description below. Notice that over the past eight years, QILD's dividend really hasn't grown. In 2014, it was at $2.58 per share, and then it went as low as $1.88 per share in 2017. And in 2021, it was back up to $2.85 per share. So inflation has really eaten away at that potential $50,000 in dividend income. In just a minute, I'm going to tell you my ultimate pick for the fastest way to live off dividends, but one alternative that you might want to consider will be a combination of the two ideas I've mentioned so far. If you really just want easy, you might consider putting a chunk of your money in these covered call ETFs and another chunk of your money in an ETF similar to SCHD. I made a video several weeks back about SCHD, sharing how it only invests in very high quality companies and has been growing its dividends on average over 10% a year over the past 10 years. I'll share that link to that SCHD with you at the end of this video if you wanna check it out. But if you're looking for super easy with dividend growth, you might consider putting some of your money into these covered call ETFs and then another chunk of your money into an ETF similar to SCHD. There's a history of not only growing its dividends, but also long-term growing the value of that portfolio. Here's what that portfolio might look like. You notice at the very bottom, your combined average dividend yield is now down to 11.26%. That's still a very high dividend. And the amount that you would need to pocket $50,000 a year in dividend, it's gone up to $444,000 $446. So it's a bit higher, but you have 25% of your portfolio in an ETF that should, over the long term, go up in value and also pay you ever-increasing dividends. Now, if you didn't want to buy SCHD up front, you might consider taking some of the cash flow from your three covered call ETFs and buying some SCHD with that cash. You'd be giving up some of your pocket money, but you at least have a chunk of your portfolio that should, over the long term, increase in value and have nice dividend growth. So I mentioned that as this video went along, I was going to give you ideas that helped you retire faster and faster. Now I'm going to share with you what I think is the fastest possible way to live off dividends and off your portfolio. And I know this because I'm doing it right now. What I showed you with these covered call ETFs is similar to what we do here on this channel and in my Patreon group every single day. We generate an awesome amount of cash flow every month by selling options. Here's a brief snapshot to show you what we've pocketed in our main option trading account over the past 12 months. Here at the bottom of a very, very long list of option trades, you see that we've pocketed a net of $189,514 by selling options. This is exactly what covered call ETFs, like the ones I mentioned earlier, do. But in addition to selling covered calls, we also sell cash secure put options. But since some of our positions are covered calls, we collected $11,635 in dividends from the stocks that we own that we had sold covered calls against. In addition to that, as a result of the cash secure put options we sold, we collected just over $2,000 in interest over the past 12 months on the cash we have sitting aside in that account, sitting there waiting in case those cash secure put options were assigned to us. For all these positions, we maintained a balance of about $600,000 in this account. We actually have set aside just over a million dollars to cover every position we have in this account. That means that we have not used margin or leverage to trade these options. So if you do the math, we pocket just over $203,000 by selling options or by doing what these covered call ETFs do that I mentioned earlier. 
when you figure the million dollars we have set aside for this account, instead of a 14% dividend minus the expense fee that I mentioned, we've actually pocketed right at a 20% dividend. It does involve a bit more work, but I'm happy to do the work for that extra six plus percent in dividends. If you'd like to get an alert as soon as we buy stocks and sell options, check out the benefits of becoming a patron down at the link in the description below. If you'd like to see exactly how much we pocket on a monthly basis and how we've been able to accumulate almost $50,000 in free stock, check out the monthly cash flow video series here on your right. If you'd like more information on the ETF I mentioned earlier, SCHD, check out the video here on your left. I'll also put a link to both of those videos down in the description below. Until next time, Happy investing, and we'll see you again soon.